and after three days, I had lost all desire to smoke cigarettes. I reflected back on what had happened in my life in the last month, and I was blown away. Spirit, be my wisdom, be my words to me. It wasn't until um, my first year of law school, I had a friend that I'd grown up with in high school named Robert Saracola here in town. And, he and I had done a lot of crazy things together as teenagers. He got saved and started talking to me about Jesus. And uh, I just, I didn't want to hear it. I said, that's ridiculous. I've, I, uh, I know everything I need to know about it. I grew up in the church for long enough. I don't really think I accept any of that. I'm pretty much an agnostic. Don't really have any desire to know more. But at the same time, um, I had a habit. I had a cigarette addiction. At that time, I was still doing a little bit of like uh, marijuana and, and some of these kind of lighter drugs, things that you didn't have to inject. I drew the line at injecting things. Uh, I was married and I had two kids. I could not get over this addiction. And he kept telling me that if I would truly accept Jesus as my Lord and ask him in my heart, that Jesus would take that away. And I didn't believe him and didn't want to accept that that could be true. And so I continued struggling for several months and he kept telling me every time he saw me that he was praying for me. I, I was just at the end of my rope struggling with trying to give up these cigarettes and just couldn't do it. I had tried so many ways to get free of the alcohol addiction and I had been raised by my mother teaching me that he can who thinks he can. And so I was extremely frustrated because no matter how hard I thought I could, I couldn't. And there just seemed to be no resources left within me. And he said to me that if I would accept uh, Christ that, and, and ask him to take the desire away, I, he would. So I finally, uh, I put down the cigarette pack on, on um, the coffee table and uh, prayed something very <laughs> innocuous like, God, if you really exist, and if you're really there, I ask you to into my heart and I ask you to forgive me for my sins and um, I'll seek to follow you. And I ask you to take this desire for smoking away from, from me. It was very half-hearted and I really didn't believe what I was doing, but I said it because I was at the end of my rope. And the next morning I got up and the first thing that I wanted to do was reach for a cigarette. And I remembered what he had said to me and I said, Jesus, please take this desire away from me and it was gone. And I'm going, what is this? And he said to me, when, he, when we were talking an hour or so later, he said, every time you feel that desire, I want you to just say, Jesus, please take this desire away from me. So I did. And after three days, I had lost all desire to smoke cigarettes. It was just amazing to me that there was a power that was clearly outside of myself that had caused this to happen and that God took me seriously even though I hadn't taken God seriously. So I said, I gotta investigate this. I gotta learn what is this that I have just committed to and what does it mean? And you know, as I said, I had been raised in the Episcopal Church so I did have some church background, um, but didn't really understand the grace of God, really did not understand a personal relationship with God, um, really did not uh, recognize that God wanted to walk with me through life. So that began a journey. And I began like a sponge. I just started reading the Word of God. I began with the book of John and I just, I was reading it like a sponge and it was like all these promises that I saw in there for my life. And it just, you know, it fascinated me. And I had read the Bible before, but it had never had an impact like it did now that I had accepted Christ as my Lord. Somehow it brought everything alive for me. So as I was um, reading it and thinking about it, at the end of about a month, I looked, I reflected back on what had happened in my life in the last month, and I was blown away. Because not only had I quit smoking and lost all desire to smoke, I had quit drinking, and I had been drinking quite a bit. Um, I had no desire to turn to any kind of drugs or anything, and the filthy, the filthy mouth that I had before was gone. And I'm going, oh my gosh, this is just amazing. I didn't even ask God for these things, and look what he did in my life. I was uh, just, you know, overwhelmed by this sense of God loving me that much that he would do that.
and caring for me enough to be involved in my life. 